Hello everyone and welcome back to Relaxing with Acorn and I know it's been a while since I've done one of these I plan to do a lot more but I just stuff happened I think I can't really remember what went on but something happened that stopped me from doing it that's all I can guess I mean it's been quite a while so um, I wanted to carry on my old save file I came back to take a look at it and um, it's not here like I couldn't find it at all it wasn't on my old hard drive uh, it's not on my new one obviously so that save file is gone unfortunately which means we'll have to start again but uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing so I've generated a world this is basically super super easy it's like really flat not many rivers although these or canals whatever these are a pain these things here so um, yeah there's no computers or anything it's literally just to sit down and relax I don't have any competition and so there's really really no competitive play or anything in this at all it's just for my enjoyment so uh, we'll start off by doing exactly the same as we did last time let's find a place to put our base and I like to put them like in in between big cities this looks like a good place because there's coal stations and loads of towns so if we just select our name let's uh, build our HQ let's not build it in the city Let's build it away just because the city likes to expand and I don't want to take up space so let's put it there. Oops I can't do it whilst paused. <coughs> okay so let's change the company name. Ugh. Why not? Colour scheme I always go with light blue just because it's awesome, or some sort of blue anyway uh, new face obviously yeah why not, <laughs> looks nothing like me but whatever okay then so everybody usually starts with a coal industry just because it's basically the only one that stays throughout the whole game and you can create your own awesome network through it so I'll start, I started here because there's towns here and there's uh, three coal mines here as well so I can basically make loads of money out of one train so let's just set this station up first so I'd like to get coal from these two and then transfer coal from here to where the others are so this one's got the most production now I could make a split station so if I get this up landscaping keep that up and electrified well, railway construction. Also, I started in 1970 just because it's a massive pain to start in 1950 or whatever. You get really, really terrible trains. You don't really get anything decent until 1965, something like that, when the electric railways come in. And when they come in, you have to replace all your trains. It's a massive, massive hassle to replace it. Even though you've got this awesome replace feature, you have to replace all your tracks. It's just a pain in the ass, all right? So electric railway is fine until basically maglev, because monorail comes, and then maglev comes. So it's you, you really don't want to swap them over twice. So electric railway will do fine until maglev, I think, which is like 2000, maybe? I'm not quite sure. I haven't played this properly in so long. So let's just plan out how I'm going to do this. So, hmm. Let's unpause it first and do some landscaping. Okay, then, sorry about that. For some reason, like, the sound wasn't working. Um, you, I'll do a cut or something to make sure you know what happened. But basically, um, I turned the music down and I realized, hey, hang on a minute, there's no sound effects. And I kind of like the sound effects in this game. Like, sound, for me, sounds are important in a game. They give me feedback. The music in this game isn't so much important as it is. It's just there for purely to fill the void, you know, for entertainment purposes. It's not there for, you know, to react with the dynamic content of a game. But the effects, you know, the sound effects, when you place a tile or you delete something or you do anything to do with this game, uh, like a mouse click, it gives you feedback and confirmation that, that has been done, as well as the visual feedback. And to me, that's that's like, well, for me, that's at least forty to fifty percent of the game experience, um, having sounds and like feedback. So, yeah, other people will say it's like thirty, but I I think it's more important than that because if you watch a film with really bad sound, you can't watch it. Or there's no if you watch a film with no sound, it's it's difficult. So yeah. <laughs> 
anyway let me let me get on with this anyway so um we've created our base we've got one two three four five ish towns near us where we can basically we can link all these up with a bus route or a metro route I think a metro route, route would be quite cool because this might merge into one massive city which will be awesome in the long run but anyways we have this train station here so how are we gonna build on this uh, so like I want to get these two in and that seems to be the only position in which I can do it I mean if I do that then I'll have to transfer them from there to there and that's just a massive pain unless I do this wait no this this is gonna cost a lot of money but you know screw it <laughs> so I'm I've got the train station where I want it to be basically um, let's move it a bit yeah, let's put it there, and now we go on, hang on, okay, whatever, that usually has a sound when you put stuff down, but now we go on this one, and delete all the ones we do not want, bonk, so now we have this really ridiculous kind of looking train station, which is uh, pretty funky, to be honest, if you ask me, and we can get rid of that, and then we can get rid of all of these. Plonk. Oh, that's converting. Oops. It's that one I wanted. There we go. So I may want to. The thing about this is I can expand it if I wanted to. So if I wanted to put another line in, I can easily just do this and plonk it on, and it will add on to it, um, which I probably will do because I've got three lots of coal coming in. But it depends how long this track is. I mean, if it's really, really long, then there's really no point in, uh, you know, having loads and loads of stations because there won't be a train in there constantly. Um, you know, it won't need three, four tracks or whatever. So we have this area. So let's just expand it outwards. And I usually put one of these at the end. And I'm not sure where to put the depot. Usually I just put it like that. But there are probably more efficient ways to do this. This is just, you know, how I start off. I can do more complicated things later. So let's pause this. And we'll sort out this extra coal station later because it will be expensive to add the network. So we want to find a power station where all our coal stations go to. Or, co yeah, all, all our coal mines go to even. And we don't want it close together. Like that power station there, that's absolutely useless. And we want to make a lot of money. We want to get out of debt as soon as possible. So the best place to look is all the way on the other side of the map. So... How, you know perhaps here because this has got this is a really good spot actually this has got a nice wide open area for us to do a train station so the only problem is we'll probably run out of money before we do that but we'll see if we need to borrow more we have a max loan of 300,000 so it's uh, very 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 possible and so let's have number of tracks it's gone to f five for now all right, so we're gonna need a lot. So this accepts coal. So now, how are we gonna? I'm just trying to think of a different way because usually, I'm not allowed was, but oh, damn it, I always do this because usually, this accepts coal. Let's do it so I'm not on farmland as well. Yeah, so we want a lot of space, but like I said, usually, I have some space on each side and then I just go up like oh my god those sound effects <laughs> Shh. <laughs> so for example I'm gonna need to do this anyway but I have like two or one or two on each side and then I just do a curve and then go up 
and then have the rails coming in. But this time I want to try something different. So how in I want to have coming in I guess will be this way and then going out will be this way. And hmm, let's see. I want to try and make something more efficient. I've seen a couple of designs, but I don't know whether to do my standard out or do a different out. So hmm the only problem is this farm is gonna maybe get in the way. So I'm just gonna get this down. Oh my god, that was expensive. <laughs> Bloody farmland is really expensive to uh, mess with. So let's have this middle one as our going in section. So we will also to direct it away but the thing is I don't want it to go that way I will make mistakes I'm just literally here to relax I'm not here to play seriously and we can have it weave and laugh at this power station as it goes in and out um, I don't want to slow the train down, so I'm just going to put a, a, I'll put a tunnel there because it's cheaper than flattening this out. And when you flatten stuff out, it costs more, especially if there's farmland on it because you have to pay for the farmland, which is a massive pain in the ass and nobody likes to do it. And so how am I going to do this? So I could have these all merge. But I want these two, so I'll have, yeah, so I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, two, oops, damn it, <laughs> I always do this with the multi-track tool. So I'm going to have four, and then it'll join, and this should be enough. and join and then have another couple and join and should I <coughs> split it three ways or what or what um, let's just have it the same I have no idea if this will work like as intended. Uh, this is my first time like trying to build this kind of in input station. But if it's like this one, then it can wait here um, before it goes in if it's like full. Um, hopefully it will work. And then on the way out. Now, good thing is here we don't have to pay for any farmland. So let's do exactly the same on the way out. Oh, wait, we have to pay for this farmland. Screw you, farmers. Bastards. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So I add one, two, three, four. I add five, one, two, four. Screw it, let's just join it a bit early. It's only the way out, people don't care. Oops. Well, that could work anyway. I mean, it's the way out. I mean, I don't think there's going to be that much traffic to begin with, and we can sort it out later. And now we basically have to loop it back round, which is also going to be a pain. I didn't expect to have a station take up this much space. Yum. Oh my god, we don't, we're don't. we going to have to borrow some money. Actually, I would rather have it come up that way. So let's claim our money back on this. And have a tunnel. 10,000! Okay, we need more money. So let's just borrow crap loads. 
and make our way down. I have no idea if we will have enough money for this. If not, we've just screwed ourselves over royally. But, you know, I'm a tycoon. I'm here to uh, experiment. So we need to travel the entire world. And the best thing to do is to create like a central railway. So if we go to the middle-ish somewhere, and then head straight down or something. So let's work our way up this way anyway, it just seems easier. So we'll have to go uphill, which is a shame, but there's nothing we can really do about it without spending loads and loads of money. Let's get rid of this. It's kind of cheap to do it if it's just normal land. Okay, go that way a tad more. 